Hi, my name is Kelvin So. When it comes to what I do, I do ha I I have no I I have no idea what I do because I dabble in a lot of things. Um, currently, I have a part-time gig with Kuzu FM, uh, where I host a weekly radio show called Manic Mondays, which happens every Monday from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. I'm also the co-host for a podcast with Tsewang Sai, and it's called The Sai Pod. And it's a podcast where we talk about nothing. We just ramble, and it's about it's it's just uh, it's just casual banter with guests. Um, uh, recently, I also wrote and directed the pilot for Geta B, which is a Bhutanese sketch comedy show premiering on the streaming platform Samu. And before the pandemic happened, I was also doing some uh, I was doing some small. Uh, musical shows here and there and I hope to do that once the pandemic is done of course and yeah I like I like like I said at the beginning I honestly don't know what I do because I do a lot of things and and yeah I, I just have my hands everywhere that sounds like a euphemism for something but it's not I really have my hands everywhere I could describe myself in three words on um, anxious, overthink, and sexy. Especially sexy, but yeah. I honestly never knew what I was going to do when I was in school. I, I think it kept changing what I wanted to do, kept changing throughout high school and throughout college even. I, um, I, from the time I was in school, I dabbled in a lot of things. I, I, when I was in school, I used to volunteer at the library. I used to uh, volunteer at Kuzu FM. And I don't think I ever had this thing like I wanted to do something in particular because like I said, I kept changing. It kept, the things I wanted to do kept changing. And when I was in high school, that became a little difficult because that gave me a lot of anxiety and I ended up having panic attacks because I don't know if my friends knew what they wanted to do, but they really acted, they, to the best of my knowledge, they acted like they knew what they wanted to do, and it looked like they had, they had, they had, figured, their, um, they had figured out what they wanted to do, and uh, I think that sort of created a lot of anxiety for me, and now when I think about it, that was a little stupid, but back then, I really did not know what I wanted to do, and as evident, now I still don't know what I want to do. I just do whatever makes me happy, I suppose. I just do whatever I want to do without, you know, knowing exactly what that is. I wanted to go abroad to study because, well, I studied in Bhutan since class PP. From PP to 12, I was in Bhutan. And I knew from the time I entered high school that if I ever did that if I wanted to go to college I wanted to go somewhere outside Bhutan and I really um oh there we go a nice glob of spit just flew but yeah like uh I honestly did not know I didn't really care where the college was I didn't care which country I went to I just wanted to go somewhere outside Bhutan because I wanted to experience things that that I couldn't experience that I couldn't experience in Bhutan so um, the choice of college was in, in, uh, with my uh, my family. Uh, we with some uh, with some advice with some with, with my family's help. I went to India, and I experienced a lot of new things there. But I knew for a fact that I never wanted to complete my education in Bhutan. I wanted to go abroad, and I wanted to do different things and experience different things. And I wanted to get the exposure of you know that that being abroad gets you. I think one of the experiences of living abroad was that there was no safety net. By which I mean that where I was studying, I was studying in Calcutta. I did have, uh, I did have an uncle there, but this uncle of mine, he was somebody who believed in fierce independence. 
like he would not you know uh, just because i was family with him he was not somebody who was going to you know coddle me and keep me like you know have things done for me um and while i was in india i i sort of learned to do a lot of things on my own i mean i was already independent when i was living in bhutan but then india sort of forced me to become a little more independent um uh simple things as learning how to properly use my money how to save money uh how to uh you know navigate through college life by myself try to make decisions and understanding the repercussions of my decisions all of that sort of came about from my experiences in college and yeah the people that i met uh meeting people of different cultures meeting people of different i mean india is 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 a melting pot of so many different cultures and religions and you meet a lot of new people there and you sort of you sort of learn to not you know you sort of learn to not be in your head all the time because you meet people who are different from you who have different opinions to you who have different foods and cultures and all that sort of stuff which are different to you and i think that really helps when you to to that really helps in broadening the way i think and the way i behaved afterwards so i think that would be something that i took away from it what i wished i knew before i went off to college was it was okay to not know what you were going to do i think a lot of our i think a lot of kids today and maybe a lot of kids even in the future what they struggle with right now in high school before college is they feel this pressure that they should know what they want to do but i honestly don't i personally don't think that's uh, that that should be something that you know bothers you so much i think it's more import, important to have experiences i think it's important to try a lot of new things i think when you always go into something with like okay i want to do this we we sort of get this tunnel vision and when you have tunnel vision that that can be a little scary because then you sort of ignore the things that are lying on the sides and also the pressure of i think people for those people who who don't know what they want to do the pressure much like myself is that you sort of put this um this uh unfair uh pressure burden on yourself to have to figure out what you want to do and i think knowing what you want to do in the future it really depends on the experiences you have right now and i i personally if i could go back and i could tell my younger self anything it would be to you know not not pressure myself because it's fine not to know what you want to do because there are people who are in their 40s and their 50s who still don't know what they want to do and they have happy lives as well it's it's i think it's 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 kind of silly to want to do just one thing in life i think it's more fun to experience a lot of things <laughs>